010306, adding a CD-ROM drive. In order to add a CD-ROM drive, your virtual machine actually has to be powered off. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. And you would add a floppy drive in much the same way, but most likely we probably won't need a floppy drive, but there are situations where we're going to need to add a second CD-ROM drive. I'm going to click Edit Settings, click Add, and I'll select DVD CD-ROM Drive. Note we can also add serial ports and parallel ports. Click Next. And I can use the physical drive. Choose this option to give the guest operating system access to DVD or CD-ROM on the client or host. Or I can use an ISO image, so whichever one I want to do. You can access a client CD-ROM device or host CD-ROM device. There are two types of DVD CD-ROM access. A. You should use pass-through, raw, mode only for remote client device access. B. Use a Tapi emulation to access a host CD-ROM device. The local or host CD-ROM device is accessed through emulation mode. Pass-through mode is not functional for local host CD-ROM access. You can write or burn a remote CD only through pass-through mode access. But in emulation mode, you can only read a CD-ROM from a host CD-ROM device. Let's say I want to use the physical drive. Click Next. Location. I can use the client or the host. Let's say I want to use the host, and I'll select this emulation. Connect at Power On. That's fine. Click Next. Click Next again on IDE, and Finish. And now we have a new CD-ROM drive, so when we turn this machine on, we're going to see two CD-ROMs. If you do not want the CD-ROM drive connected when the virtual machine starts, deselect Connect at Power On.